What's going on guys, it is your boy Mr. Woz and welcome to my loot from 10 hour series where I'll be grinding a certain skill, boss or anything in general. And at the end of the video I'll show you how much I've made. i made a nice little playlist for you lot as well if you want to check that out and have a look and I'll put that in the description below. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So let's get into this grind. Today I'll be killing green dragons in the wilderness using the Ring of Wealth Eye as this will double the chance of getting clues from wilderness monsters. Also this is a fantastic place to train if you are free to play or even if you are a member and a low combat level. So let's see how I get on. Okay so these dragons are level 79 and found in 12 to 17 wilderness and you can simply get here by using the burning amulet to bandit camp. Now these dragons always drops bones as well as green dragon hide as well which is the items I'll be picking up along the way as well as other miscellaneous items as well. So per kill you're roughly getting around 3 to 4k which is not too bad considering they are very easy to kill. Now if you have completed the wilderness elite diaries all dragon bones will be noted which is fantastic but this only applies to wieldy of course so this will extend your trip since you hold around 50 d bones as well as d hide in your inventory and looting bag uh, obviously this comes with a risk because if a pk does kill you then you lose all the bones and the d hide you've been picking up so try and bank at a reasonable amount of money i would say around 100 to 150k as a lot of people try and be too greedy and that is when pks will come along and take all your loot now before I carry on with the green dragons I will tell you what I was wearing and what I was taking with me in my inventory. So I am wearing proslite top and bottoms, climbing boots, glory, that is not a face guard but you can take the normal that is not if you want to, RD cloak 4 as that is the best for stab bonuses, anti dragon shield, barrows gloves, lance as it's a great stab weapon against these dragons, Rada Blessing 4 for the prayer bonus and the Ring of Wealth Eye as this is an OP ring as it doubles the clue scroll drop chances of any monster in the wilderness and it also collects coins for you as well and it puts the coins in your inventory so you don't have to pick it up manually. To get this ring all you need to do is buy a Ring of Wealth Uncharged from the Grand Exchange and buy a Ring of Wealth Scroll from the Grand Exchange which cost me around 60k at the time then use the scroll on the ring and you get the Ring of Wealth Eye. Now, if you do lose this ring, uh, you can't protect it, so even if you have a protect item on, you will not keep it and the PK will get 50k cash for it, so bear that in mind. Now, for my inventory, I'm taking one super combat just to kill these a bit faster, one blighted super restore, which is one of the new potions you can buy from the Grand Exchange and they are cheaper than a normal super restore. Uh, obviously, you can only use these in the wilderness. I have one anti-fire just so I don't take fire damage from the dragons, a few pieces of food and a looting bag just to hold more dehyde and any of the other drops that the dragon will drop for me. And of course, a teleport out, which will be my Royal Sea Pod. And another thing I'll be bringing is a Birdie Namlet to get here. So I'm not risking much, um, hence why I took red gear. I have took my Lance and my Barrow's Gloves, but I will protect that no matter what. So I was risking around 50 to 60k, something like that. So it's not too bad with Protect Item on, of course. But um, I was banking when I had a full bag or when I got around 100 to 150k just to be safe. So, hour and a half in guys, and I get my first hard clue scroll. I did get one beforehand, tell a lie, but it didn't save for some reason, so I'm going to count this as my first one. Um, also, I am fairly close to the Yuri emote, which is 300 hard clues, so hopefully I'll get them within the 10 hours, so let's see what I get from this hard clue. So I get my hard casket and I only get 49k. Not a great start, it was pretty much the same reward as the other clue that didn't record, so let's get back to the green dragons. Two hours in guys and this is actually not a bad money maker to be honest and I was pretty much always guaranteeing around 120k per trip, sometimes I do get more as well. Also I was in the 2200 total world as well so I wouldn't expect high level players to come here and PK me. Also I was getting around 60 to 65k XP per hour which is not too bad at all. Three and a half hours in guys and I get my second hard clue scroll. Hopefully I get something better than my last clue so let's see what I get. I get the casket and I get 244k, now that is much better. Now as you can see in my chat box I'm 17 hard clue scrolls away from the Yuri emote and with this ring hopefully I'll get it. 10 minutes later guys and I get my third hard clue scroll. Now the ring is doing its job so far so hopefully I get a lot more clues. I get my casket once again and I get 167k, not too bad at all. I think as long as I get around 150k plus I won't complain too much. 
four hours in guys and I get my fourth hard clue scroll. At the time I was not quite sure what happened here but I found out it was because I didn't pick up my clue at the start. It dropped me another one for some reason and at the time I thought I had two clues so imagine that. So we finished the clue and I get 110k. Not great but I am getting closer to that 300 mark so let's keep grinding. 10 minutes later and I get my fifth hard clue. Now I'm starting to notice how good this ring is now. So if you want to get clues fast, especially hard clues, then come to Green Dragons with this ring and you will get them super fast. I get my casket and I get a lovely 1.2 mil reward. Mainly because of the Guffix DI boots and the Zombie page as well. So very pleased with that. So let's get back to the Green Dragons. I get my six hard clue scroll guys and if I don't get this Yuri emote, I will be very surprised just because of the ring is so OP. But yeah, another clue, so let's see what we get. I get my casket, and this time I get 155k. Not too bad, quite happy with that, as I can out most of the items for profit. So yeah, not a bad clue scroll. Five hours in, guys, at the halfway mark, and I get my seventh clue scroll. This actually might be a record the time I finish this, as this will be the most clues I've had from a loop from 10 hours. So I get my casket, and I only get 75k this time. I actually made a little mistake by having lots of food in my inventory for some reason, but I did pick up the items in the end. We get another clue scroll guys, I'm on my 8th one now, this is insane. So after completing this, I'll be 11 clue scrolls away from the Yuri emote. What a bad clue this is, 48k, not great at all, so hopefully my future clue scrolls will be a lot better than this one. This video might as well be called 10 hours of doing hard clues, honestly, I'm getting at least 1 to 2 clues per hour. So, let's see what I get from this ninth clue. I get my casket and this is a lot better, I get 240k, not too bad at all. I can actually elk all the rune items of profit which is good, so 10 more clues left. I'm expecting good loot at the end of the 10 hours just because of all the clues I'm getting. And you'll never guess what, I just finished my clue, I'll tell you back out, I kill my first dragon and I get my 10th hard clue scroll. This is actually becoming a joke but in a good way of course. And this time we only get 92k from this clue, not too great but we're getting closer to them 300 hard clues. Literally 3 minutes later I get my 11th hard clue scroll. I think I have more KC on doing these clues than I'm killing these dragons, honestly it's mad. So let's do this and see what I get. Coming up to the 9 hour mark now and I get my 12th clue scroll. Yay! 115k, yay. I thought I'd show you something a little different for the next 20 seconds. So here is one of my friends achieving 99 prayer and also getting 126 combat. Ready? <laughs> Three. Oh, I can't bury him. There we go. Hey! Oh, you can't, no! I can't, I can't, oh, it's not, it's singles. Oh, it's singles. No, I, can't, I can't hit him. I can't hit him, he's gonna kill me. I can't actually attack him. Oh my god! No, I had an AGS and everything. Oh no! Wait, what are you getting me for? Wait! Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't re-attack you. I had an AGS. I've got your stuff, I've got your stuff. Don't worry. Oh. I had to do it, man. I had to do it. I mean, I was going to kill you. I had an AGS, dude. It would have been better if it was multi so we could all attack him, but never mind. Well done, mate, anyway, for getting 99 prey. We are almost done with the 10 hour grind now, guys, and I get another clue. I think this is my 12th one now. I actually lost count, to be honest, so... Let's see what I get from this. 47k. By the way, if you haven't joined the clan chat, come along and type in Mr. Woz and I'll give you a rank. This is a really chill clan chat. You can talk about anything, not just about RuneScape. And yeah, everyone's just really nice and friendly. So yeah, looking forward to seeing new people in here. Not only that, I get my 13th hard clue scroll. I think I should be hitting the Guinness World Records, honestly. There's so many clues. But I'm not going to complain as this helps towards my overall profit within the 10 hours. So for my reward I get 152k, not too bad at all, and um, we just have under half an hour so let's see if I can squeeze one more clue scroll in. Well we didn't get another clue scroll but we have finished the 10 hour grind so really happy about that, so let's see how much I've made. So here we go guys, this is the loop from the 10 hours, so we've got two price checks coming up for you guys, and the first price check will be 7.1 mil. Now the reason why it's 7.1 mil mainly because of the dragon bones and the dehyde, and we've got some other various items, so we've got herbs, we've got some uncut um, gems. Um, I think in the other price check we've got some runes as well, so let's show you that one. So this is the next lot of items for the second price check, and we have made an extra 2.3 mil. So altogether we have made 9.4 mil, which is really, really good. 
So we had the 1448 Dragon Bones, 1449 Dragon Hide, and we got some various items such as herbs, runes. Also, we got some clo items as well, and also we got the Guffix DI boots, which is one mil, which is really nice. Got some Zamorak pages here, we got two there. Got a small cash stack from when I was picking up the coins from the dragons. Got quite a few rune items as well. And yeah, a lot of miscellaneous items. So yeah, all added up in the end. And that is all for today, guys. Hope you like this video. Make sure you give this a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And my next video will be the new Champion Scroll series. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Until next time, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.